you tourists didn't think that people really took you seriously. You have the Page of Wands and the Page of Cups. So you dumped those people that you thought didn't take you uh, seriously. You're out here, you're trying to date. They started to wild out. So guess what you did? You stopped talking to them, you dumped them. Good for you. The fool represents and you'll just begin to talk to somebody else because you Taurus are finally, like I've been talking about with all of the zodiac signs, you don't get it. And until you get it, you still don't get it when you don't get it, right? But when you get it, you got it. And what I mean when I'm talking about with all this get you gotcha stuff, I mean, the people that put themselves out there the most, like they are so valuable and they got this going on and they, they got that. Usually, I'm not saying all the time, but usually those are the people who are very dysfunctional and they really are not as what they're trying to make themselves seem. They're trying to cast a shadow onto the wall, but who they actually are is not really that. And the, a lot of you Taurus started to wake up and realize that your self-respect is way more than, 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 you know, than being in a relationship. So the thing is that the, the fool now is about, so this is about, so the fool is about you going off and talking to other people, right? You're not really tripping out about it. It's not personal. You're not really taking it from a perspective of anger or frustration. You're, you're learning how to get over it and you're moving forward to talk to new people. You're not going to allow this to hold you down. So the world, and then you have the Nine of Swords represents this being a situation for you where what you've got going on is you see things from a bigger picture now. A lot of you Taurus are starting to really wake up and realize that the reason why things are so difficult for you in the first place is not necessarily because it's not necessarily because you Taurus are physically unattractive. That's not what it is, right? Or any anything that they said, because you Taurus probably are attractive. What I'm what I'm talking about is it's it's the it's the the essence of it. The idea that they're saying that because they're hyper competitive, they're illogical. Everything to them is a competition. Even things that don't even make any sense to be in competition over, they're in competition. You know what I mean? And and you see that about the people that you used to date. And a lot of you Taurus, again, Taurus, y'all need peace in your lives. For the majority of you Taurus, you need time to slow down, time to be lazy, time to relax, time to slow down, right? Time to catch yourself, catch your breath, all of that. The person is in constant competition and trying to get on your nerves and every couple of weeks it's always some sort of fight argument you don't want that so you stop talking to them and and why all of that makes sense in the first place is because the world is about the night the world and the nine of swords is about you taurus realize that that's not the type of speed you want to go you don't want somebody constantly in in your ear so you so you will go talk to somebody that's new and when someone acts like that, you will do that to, to them. So the Six of Cups is about those same those same exes or people that you could have been cool with like that romantically. They're coming back trying to get your attention. And then now the Emperor and the Knight of Wands is about, since that's the case, you're really in a situation where because of that, you Taurus understand or you should understand that what you've got going on is way better than what you when what you could have hoped for because you Taurus have completely made a transformation. You y'all finally have self worth, and I'm not saying that y'all didn't. I'm saying that. Look, I have a Taurus brother. I know a lot of Taurus. I I ain't gonna say a lot, but I know some Taurus in real life or people who have Taurus placements. Y'all will fall with for the wrong people and 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 get heartbroken and y'all will start to to devalue yourselves low key and start thinking that you're not worth anything because x y and z when that's completely not true right whatever you tell yourself so the emperor and the knight of wands represents and you realize that it's not worth it you you taurus finally woke up and realized that it's not worth 
always devaluing yourselves. Right? If you and a person don't work out, and I've said this before, you have to analyze what you did right, what the other person did right, what you did wrong. If there's anything that you could have done that was better, same thing with them. What they did that was wrong that they could have did better. And if you step into them correctly, right, for the most part, right, even 60%, it was correct. Yes, you still have some things you have to work out, right? But at the same time, you not at fault. Because ultimately, right, you're flawed. We're all flawed. You're going to do some things wrong sometimes, right? So the thing is that if a person is like on your head about that, right? Because that's another piece of game that a lot of people would do too to make you feel bad is the guilt trips. It's the small, it's the, like I said, it's the things that they'll talk about how it is that, you know, you Taurus are a little bit smothering, but they sign up to hang out with you. So they didn't know that, right? And I love Taurus, but at the same time, if a Taurus couldn't understand that I'm a Virgo and that I need my space, we wouldn't be together. But that's my point, though. I'm going to let a Taurus be known like this is what it is. You understand? They signed up to hang out with you and they didn't have a problem with it. Now, all of a sudden, out of the blue, like a ghost, now they got a problem. So the Seven of, of Pentacles and the Two of Cups is about. So you Taurus realize that it's about an equal give and, and, and take. And the give and take is not transactional. There are gives and takes that are not transactional because those people ultimately want to share. And you, and you Taurus, realize that your love is an acquired taste. Some people may not like the brand of love that you give out, but that's okay. But them coming back on in and trying to appeal to you again after they lost you when they could have had you in the first place, I see a lot of you Taurus being like, no, the person has to, they have to figure it out. They have to snap out of it. So let's clarify the two of cups. Tower, Scorpio card, five of swords, six of cups again, and the, and the death card. Again, you got the six of cups. Two in the same reading. So again, the tower and the five of swords and the six of cups the death card, tower, right? The relationship is over between you and them and you're not going back, but they still seem think, to think that somehow there's a chance that you Taurus can come back to them, make it right between the two of you, right? That they can make it right between the two of you. And the thing is that for you Taurus, I just see a lot of you having too much self-worth at this time. Comment on the video, like the video, subscribe.